Hello there, Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. We are having a look at your March 2024 money and career. So we've got a lot of things going on in the month of March. Let's get right into it on the 10th. We've got a super new moon in the sign of Pisces. Pisces does bring about a big dreamy energy. It's also highly spiritual and intuitive, very creative as well. So this is a great time to set some big intentions to manifest those dreams into reality, right? You're very connected um, at that time. Oh, thank you. Um, you're very connected with the universe, with the sun, the moon, the stars, and all of the planets, all the abundance that the universe has to offer. So dream big, think big, and set those intentions. The 19th brings in the spring equinox and also the start of our astrological new year with the start of Aries season. So, of course, the beginning of the year, just like we do in our calendar new year, we cleanse and purge, we reflect, and we also, of course, uh, plant seeds of intentions for our year to come. So it's a great time for you to focus on growth, focus on balance and harmony in your life, and, um, you know, maybe think about things that you need to change. The micro full moon in the sign of Libra brings in a lunar eclipse on the 25th. Libra energy does focus on balance and harmony, especially with partnerships and relationships of all kinds. Our relationship to money, um, the companies that we partner up with, are our investments in the right place for us, right? We have our money um, partnered up, so to speak, in the right areas. Um, if you have any joint resources with other people, any joint financial responsibilities, are things balanced and fair? That's that flavor, that essence of the Libra energy. Legal matters also uh, come to the forefront as well as contracts. So some of you could be paying off loans. Some of you could be coming to the end of a contract. We could also be setting the stage and starting some new ones. And these are things that are going to bring you back something really positive. Eclipses, of course, do bring about a little bit of a <laughs> uh, unpredictable energy. We can eclipse things out of our life, but we can also, with the full moon energy, have things come to fruition for us. You can have a legal matter that um, that wraps up for you, right? Especially if it's tied to any money. Um, if you are looking for a new job, this can be a great time to embrace some change um, and to look for that perfect partnership, right? So we can have some very wonderful things going on. We can also have some surprising things going on as well. So anything goes with that eclipse and you're going to start to feel that energy pretty quickly. It is big. It is transformative and we're going to feel it early. All right. We've got the queen of coins to start off your reading. Not so shabby. That's pretty good. We've got the king of cups. Look at that. Dreaming about abundance, dreaming about prosperity. Some of you are perhaps um, on your way to buying your dream home. The queen of coins is very much centered around the home and nurturing your um, dreams, nurturing things, right? Um and with the King of Cups, it is about your dreams, right? So something very positive may be happening for you there. Got the Nine of Swords, though, so a little bit of anxiety with something there. I mean, hey, if you're um, if you're about to buy your first house or maybe upgrade where you live, that kind of thing, this can come with a little bit of anxiety about taking on that financial burden, right? But you get something back in return, something very positive, right? So um, we're not going to be too, too wrapped up in fear there, but we'll come back to it. We've got the Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands right in the heart of your reading. Boom. Nice. We've got justice card. There's that Libra energy coming in. New contracts, legal situations resolving, um, new purchases, new loans, things wrapping up for you. This can be very exciting. You can have some really positive news. We've got the Knight of Swords there as well. Talk about good news. Quite often a messenger. The Knight of Coins, Jeepers, Aquarius. And we've got the Four of Coins. Now, the Four of Coins has shown up in a number of readings. It is an energy of discernment, um, but it can also be where we're focusing on our money. We have the Temperance card at the back of the deck here for you. You are the only one to get this particular card so far. The Temperance card is Sagittarian energy. So this can be um, 
um, a month for you when you're really looking to break free, to break out, um, and in a very positive way. You could be getting some financial freedom for some of you, um, you know, or you're freeing up some resources there. The Temperance card does bring about an energy of healing, of balance and harmony. It also brings everything in moderation kind of in alignment with our four of coins that comes in here. Our four of coins is us kind of really having a look at our money, our resources, um, how we make our money, how we spend our money, how we save our money. And, you know, have it really has us, you know, having a look at, okay, I've gotten to this certain point. I've built this certain foundation. How do I get more? We're trusting in the process and we're trusting that there's more abundance and prosperity to be had. But in the meantime, we're looking at our finances going, okay, how do I make my money work for me? What am I spending my money on? Am I wasting my money on certain things? Can I afford something? Because this is quite often where we're looking at the difference between wants and needs or we're assessing our savings and, you know, thinking, okay, can I afford this? Can I buy this? What's going to happen if I do this? So I feel like you're taking a fairly responsible approach at your money. And that might not necessarily be normal for you. <laughs> okay. I am Aquarius son myself and I do know a couple of other, um, Aquarians and, um, you know, we like freedom, right? We like freedom and, you know, uh, squirreling stuff away for the future isn't always the easiest thing to do. Um, however, I have another Aquarian friend and she's quite the saver, but that has to do with more her astrology. So, um, this can be where you're maybe looking to turn over a new leaf with your relationship, Libra, with money um, and save a little bit more for the future. But a little bit of discernment is the order of the day here with this and recognizing the difference between wants and needs and not going overboard um, with expenditures. But this can be where we are um, really feeling safe and secure. We've got a good foundation here. So if you are buying a house, moving to a better location, a better neighborhood, maybe improving your place of residence, even if it's like a lease or something like that, I feel like here this is because this brings you more stability in some way in your life. So the temperance card, though, can really kind of bring things back together. It can really heal things, heal our situation. So if you've had issues with money, this can be where um, things uh, kind of get resolved for you. And especially with that justice card right there, right? The justice card can be something around your home, around your workplace that gets resolved in a really positive way. But right here at the heart of your reading, we do have an Ace of Wands. So this is very fiery energy. This is where we take steps. We take initiative. We make some bold, inspired moves. This brings in an energy of feeling a little bit more inspired or a little bit more creative. Um, and of course, Aces are usually gifts from the universe, very much speaks to manifestation. So you are a powerful manifester. All right. Speak that as your morning affirmations. I I am powerful. I am a powerful manifester. I am abundant. I am successful. I am prosperous. And you'll be amazed how your energy shifts. Um, set your intentions, especially at that Pisces new moon. If you want to wait for the spring equinox on the 19th, we usher in Astara. And, you know, you could wait for that as well, right? Because then you kind of get a little bit of the best of both worlds, right? You get the Pisces energy with your dreams, your spiritual self, your intuition, all that. And then you also get that fiery um, Aries energy of a new beginning, right? And um, so you could have the best of both worlds there. So whatever floats your boat, um, it's just however your energy feels, right? But things are coming to fruition for you or this is a fresh start for you in some way. You could have some really good news. You may even get some gifts coming in there with that. Now, the interesting thing here is right beside this Ace of Wands, we do have the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands can represent that there's been some stress and some burdens. And you've been feeling the pinch. Or you've been feeling like, you know, you're carrying a monkey on your back kind of thing with this energy. Tens are a culmination of events, a culmination of energy, right? The end point, and then we have a new beginning. So this can represent that you are making some very positive changes in your money and your career path um, in the month ahead. 
the Ten of Wands going into the One of Wands could, or the One of Wands, the Ace of Wands, excuse me. Um, this can represent that you are finding a new approach at dealing with responsibilities in your life. The Ten of Wands is quite often where we do assess our current situation and say, I am carrying responsibilities that don't belong to me. And if you are partnered up with somebody, if you share money and resources with somebody here, the Queen of Coins, the King of Cups, right? You could um, be really focused on your relationship with another person and your financial responsibilities with that. So are you in a position where, you know, maybe things have gotten a little bit out of alignment, right? And, you know, people's, you know, we sometimes start living with somebody or move in with somebody or something. And, you know, we do kind of look at, okay, I'm going to pay for this, you're going to pay for this, you know, that kind of thing. But as our careers move forward as our financial situations change, sometimes we do need to go back to the drawing board and reassess that, right? And so whatever is balanced and fair for you, right? Everyone's situation looks a little bit different, but this is where you could be kind of um, resetting the scales there of balance and harmony for your financial responsibilities. And it does lighten your load. It feels like, oh my goodness, this is great, right? So when it puts us in that ace of wands energy and it lightens your load it gives you some breathing room and it feels really good but the ten of wands also can represent that you are done you are done 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 like dinner with a situation here and you're ready for something new so this can be where you know maybe your um, finances haven't grown the way that you want them to so you're looking to put your money somewhere new with that ace of wands um, this can represent that you've got had a lot of struggles um, you know or a little bit of inequality um, in your current career path and now you're like nope either something's got to change or I'm going to change and I'm going to go look for something different, something new. Um, but some of you could be ready to take on a new role as well, because the Ten of Wands can sometimes represent that we're ready for a lot more responsibility. We've proven our worth, we've proven our mettle, and now it's time for us to level up. So a lot of possibilities here, Aquarius, for your money and especially your career path, I feel here as well. But whatever your situation is, your only major arcana other than the temperance card at the back of the deck there is the justice card. So a very heavy Libran energy that's coming in here for you, which is a good thing. Because if things have been wrong, this is where we make them right. If things have been difficult, this is where things get a little easier. If things haven't been going your way or if you feel as though, you know, kind of like the world has been working against you in some way, this is where things um, get resolved. So the justice card does bring in justice for you, right? This is also where we're honest and truthful. We have honest, open-hearted, um, positive communication with people. We restore the balance there. Um, we resolve issues in a way that benefits everybody, right? It's not one-sided. It's not lopsided. It's not, you know, all for me and none for you. This is like even keel situation here. So um, especially, especially important where we have that 10 of wands that's not, <laughs> not balanced, right? So balance, fairly, fairness, equality and justice for you is a wonderful thing in here. Um, the justice card does bring in uh, some good karma for you as well. So this can be really wonderful. But we can talk about, you know, new contracts, new offers, new opportunities, resolution of legal matters. This can be where you might have a contract that you need to sign. This can be that financial relief that we talked about because some of you could be paying off loans, that kind of thing. So this can be a release from a legal situation um, or a contract or an obligation in some way. So um, pay attention to anything that you're signing. Pay attention to any kind of documentation where you would be legally bound by some sort of contract, um, especially if it is something that is very closely tied to your money, mortgage documents, um, real estate transactions, investments, that kind of thing. Make sure that you are paying attention to the details because we do have a nine of swords. So we do have a little bit of a little bit of niggly anxiety energy coming in there. And we also have the four of 
coins, which tends to be a little bit more cautious. So make sure that you just know what you're getting into. It's not necessarily that there's anything wrong with some um, situations that you might be dealing with, but knowledge is power, right? And, you know, we do need to know our repayment terms or if you're starting a job, what are my benefits? What is my vacation? What are my hours? You know, that kind of thing, right? So paying attention to the details is very important. And this can probably alleviate a little bit of anxiety, right? The more you know, right, the better off you are. But we do have the queen of coins, right? So, of course, this is about um, abundance and receiving. So some of you are receiving abundance, receiving some money, receiving some gifts in the month ahead, whether it's something to do with your job or your, um, you know, maybe even a new career or something that you really want. Because some of you could be buying something, right? Something exciting, something that you've been working hard. Maybe you've been saving for something. And now is when you kind of empty out your bank account to buy what it is you've been saving for. But the the queen of coins is a very patient energy, very centered and focused around the home, um, around nurturing your goals, right? And seeing something through to fruition. So this can be beautiful. We do have the king of cups here as well, which can also be your energy, right? So something that you dreamed about is on the horizon or is possible for you now. Um, so this is a wonderful energy. Um, this could be about making your dreams come true. The, the king of cups, very dream dreamy energy right and successful right so this is successful this can be the house of your dreams the job of job of your dreams or just something really quite magical happening for you so very nice very nice energy this also feels like a partnership of some kind so you could be partnering up with new people you could be leading new people or you could be getting something back on track especially with your home finances in this energy but i do feel like there is a little bit of anxiety here with the nine of swords but i feel like if you take um, an honest open approach a practical approach you talk about things and you look forward to a resolution of some kind, this is where you will alleviate your anxiety. Now, the Nine of Swords is also a nighttime card. We are in Pisces season all the way up to the 19th, so pay very close attention to your dreams, especially right beside the King of Cups, right? Pay very close attention to your dreams. They might be trying to tell you something or give you guidance, or maybe you give you a warning about something, right? But I think there's something very um, profound there in your dreams. If you don't keep a dream journal, at least keep a pen and paper beside you um, on your nightstand or whatever. When you wake up in the morning, keep your eyes closed just for a minute. Capture whatever parts of your dream that you remember, even if it's just energy or a word or a feeling that stays with you. Once you've captured it, wake up and scribble it down and uh, things will make sense to you a little bit later down the road in a week or whatever. Um, you know, things will start to make a little bit more sense. Right. So it's like part of the signs that we get. Um, but we do have two nights coming out here. So I feel like some of you are on a quest. And you will successfully complete your quest. The Knight of Swords right beside the Knight of Coins. New job opportunities for you. Money coming your way. Some good news about your money. Uh, something that you've been working towards may really pay off for you here at this moment. The Knight of Coins is quite often what we do get when we have a job offer, a job opportunity, or an investment opportunity, or an opportunity to buy something perhaps that requires a move, a movement of some kind. Um, it might happen quite quickly. The Knight of Swords um, usually brings in as a messenger quite often, usually brings in some information, um, a message of some kind, and very quickly, right? So you might have to think quick on your feet, or you may have something that just happens really fast, and you're like, whoa, and this might actually cause you some anxiety as well. It's like, whoa, 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 I wasn't ready for the change. Right. But um, with the Knight of Coins here, it can be for some of you that if you're manifesting your goals and your dreams, okay, remember one foot in front of the other one day at a time. Be very clear, Knight of Swords, on what it is that you want. Set your intentions, Ace of Wands, manifest something, use the power of the justice card there, this Libra energy to help you out and pay attention to details along the way. But keep your mind open, keep your heart open, and be ready for action. 
with this, all right? But I do also feel that something that you are about to be rewarded with something that you've been waiting for for a while. The Knight of Coins is very slow moving energy um, and uh, almost to the point of, you know, if it was going any slower, it would be go backwards. But it is earth energy and things coming to fruition in our earthly realm do take a while, right? So, um, you know, so either get started or get ready to receive, okay? It depends on your cer your circumstances, but it's exciting nonetheless. So some great things happening for you. Everything is an inside job. We're going to get some manifestation messages here for you. Isn't it great to know that you cannot control your world from the outside? To change your world, to change your whole life, all you have to do is manage your thoughts and feelings on the inside of you, and then everything will change. Remember, live your life from the inside, project it outwardly, and this will manifest things into your world. This will create the reality that you really want. All from your heart, project it out. Be aware of your power. Whenever you think of it, bring yourself back to the awareness of now. Do it hundreds of times each day. Remember, all of your power is in your awareness of your power. You know, we can't think positive thoughts every single minute of every single day. We can't always be in a good mood 24 hours a day. But it is important, though, to remember and to bring ourselves back to center, that when we start to go down a rabbit hole of negativity or when we start to focus on the things that we don't have, right, or that we haven't achieved, right, where are we did, what are we doing? We're putting our power, we're putting our energy on the things that we don't have or don't want. And we don't want to do that. So we want to make sure that we recognize those moments and go, whoa, hold on a second, bring ourselves back to center, process whatever we've been going through, and then reset our thoughts, reset our energy. And that is the most important thing. Your heart is the seed of your power. A lot of power energy coming in here. We do have Pluto in your sign. Here's a way to instantly stop a downward negative spiral. Focus on your heart. Breathe in deeply, keeping your focus on your heart and concentrate on feeling love in your heart. Breathe out while keeping your focus and feeling the love in your heart. Repeat this a total of seven times. You will feel more peaceful, you will feel lighter, and the negative thoughts and feelings will have stopped. There you go. I'll leave that there for you, Aquarius. I do hope there was something here for you, some exciting things ahead, some doors opening you, windows opening for you, and things coming to fruition for you guys. So I thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. If you enjoyed your reading, please hit that like button there and it helps other people see the reading in the Maryland of YouTube. Um, subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and don't be afraid to leave a comment in the box down below. Say hello. What are you manifesting in your world? Thank you for watching. Have a great month. I'll see you later. Bye.